it's me, Gemma, and it's really, really hot in this kitchen. And whenever it's this hot, I always want ice cream and ice lollies. And I could go and buy it from the shop or from the ice cream van, but I'm gonna make it myself and I'm going to make strawberries and cream ice lollies. So the first thing you're gonna need is 350 grams of strawberries. Um, I've weighed them without their tops on, because um, obviously you don't want bits of you know, green in your lolly. Uh, so I've taken the tops off and it's 350 grams and I'm gonna pop them into a food processor which is gonna blitz them up. <laughs> right, so in they go, pop the lid on and flip them until they're completely pureed. Right, liquidised strawberry. Mm. Mm, it smells like summer in there. So just take your blade out somewhere. And I've got a fine sieve here and I bowl underneath it and I'm gonna just pour it through there to get all the seeds and any bits of pulp out. Right, so I've got myself a rubber spatula and this is really the best thing to push fruit through a sieve um, and just stir it through and then eventually you'll be left with just the pulp and the seeds that you don't want in your lollipop. Right, so that's all gone through. Uh, don't need that. Um, so what you're left with is a really lovely, beautiful colour strawberry puree with no yucky bits in it. And you just need to add to that a third of a cup of caster sugar. And a quarter of a cup of double cream, that's heavy cream if you're in America, I think. And then um, about a tablespoon of lemon juice. It's, a, it's about a half a lemon. I'm gonna put my sieve back in and just put it through the sieve. And then you just need a whisk and just stir that all together until all the caster sugar is dissolved. Right, that sounds like it's all dissolved. Um, now you could just Freeze them like that, but I like to have a few chunks in mine. So I've got a few extra strawberries here, just a, just a handful. And I'm gonna just top, top them, take the top off, and chop them really small, just so there's a few chunky bits in my lolly. So just stir those through. And then it's ready. So that smells and looks amazing, even if I do say so myself. And I'm just gonna put that into a jug because it's neater and tidier when you're pouring things. Right, so once it's in your jug, it's time to pour. Now this, depending on the juiciness of your strawberries or whatever, it usually makes about six um, ice lollies. Uh, this is annoyingly eight, so it makes me feel annoyed that I don't get eight out of it, but that's okay. Six is plenty. Uh, you know, I'm not going to eat eight lollies, am I, on my own? Um, so just pull them in, trying just to come up to the top of it. And just try and get as many lolly lollies as you can out of it. And then my lolly thing, <laughs> mould, whatever, is a lolly thing, has these little guys, and they're like lids, and they go on the top, really clever actually and then you stick your stick through them so stick them in the freezer until they're frozen <laughs> right so my ice lollies are freezing away in the freezer and I want to make something really really cool to dip them in and do you remember that magic shell stuff which you poured on your ice cream and it went like a crispy shell? I'm going to make that but with white chocolate. It's really easy, so much easier than you think. So all you need is um, 100 grams of white chocolate, like that. Just break it up and put it in a metal bowl or a heat proof bowl. So the next thing I'm going to need is half that weight of coconut oil, so 50 grams. And coconut oil is pretty magical, um, I think it's the best thing ever discovered. 
Uh, and I put it on my hair every six weeks to give my hair a little treatment and put it on your skin and eat it. And then I'm just going to put that over a pan of simmering water and stir it all together until it's totally melted. I never actually put it with it. Right, so my magic shell white chocolate thing is totally cool now. And I'm just going to pour it into this because I want to dip my lollies in. And this is just the right kind of shape. So pour it in there. Don't pour it too full, otherwise it will all over. And then I'm going to take my lollies out and dip them in one by one, but they're a bit stuck. So I've got a bowl of hot water here and I'm going to just pop them in, not for very long, but just enough that they kind of release a little bit around the side. Tug. Woo! So don't leave them in there, otherwise they'll all melt. So I've got my lovely pot. Oh God, I kind of want to just eat it like that, but it's going to get way more exciting any second. So just pop it in your lovely white chocolate thing. Give it a little wiggle around. And the coldness of the ice lolly is going to make that set. Give it a couple of dunks. Let the excess dribble off. And then we could just leave it like that, but it's going to get even more exciting because I'm going to put sprinkles on mine. So I've got a bowl here. Just, just pop it over the bowl and sprinkle away. And I'm just going to take my little plastic thing off because I don't need that. I'll just slide it off. And I've got some greaseproof paper on a baking tray here. I'm just going to put it down there for a second, then we'll do them all and put them in the freezer. And then we're going to have six delicious ice lollies for me to eat all by myself. I can't wait to read this. If you like this recipe and you want to see more recipes by me, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the link yonder. Uh, yeah, this is it's too hot and I need it. So here it goes. Mmm, mmm. Oh, it really sensitive teeth. <laughs>